well, I think it would even MS Warriors. Um, um, I feel bad. Um, I don't feel good. And it doesn't have to do with my MS. Um, yesterday, well, today is Wednesday, the tw August 21st. Yesterday, I wasn't feeling well. And uh, my stomach was bothering me, bothering me a lot. So I took my medication, but it, it wasn't working. Anyway, I went to go take a shower, and as soon as I got to the bathroom, I just, like, I felt like energy just came out, like, it just my energy just, just flushed down to the toilet. I feel very weak. I started to sweat so severely. I mean, I looked like I had just came out of the shower. That's how bad. And then I looked at myself in the mirror and I was white. And I had no strength. And I'm trying to call my daughter to come up. And um, I don't know what I did. I think I threw some stuff through the hallway. She came up. And I said, look, I don't feel well, so call your sister or call 911 because I don't feel good. Um, and I said, what do you do? Call 911 and go downstairs and open the doors. That way they can come in. Um, I started throwing up and then I don't know what happened next. I must have passed out. I, um... Um, I don't remember what happened. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't remember. I do remember, um, like choking. And I just found out, I found out that, um, I was not being responsive. I wasn't opening my eyes. How, like, I could hear them, but really far away. It's like really, really far away. And I wanted to speak, but I, I wasn't able to. I couldn't speak. I couldn't even get up. I, I just, I was so drained. They put something through my nose. I don't know what it was. Um, and when they put that, I started like, I was choking. So I just came up like that. I'm seeing all these people in my bathroom and I'm like, but uh, then I went back again. So it's like, you have to wake up. You have to. And they started like pressing here and check this stuff. They got me up. It was so funny. I had a pair of pants. And one of the guys just grabbed the pan and he just like wrap it around him or something. And he just used that to lift me up, like for me to walk. And the other guy was helping me on the other side. Like I have two guys and someone in the back. I don't know what. I don't. Because I was so out. We had to come down the stairs. And then, I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. I guess because they were holding me. I don't. It's like bruises from how they were holding me. And then, I don't know if I was in an ambulance. I don't know where I was then. I was so out of it. Like, I don't know where I was in. So, I don't know if it was an ambulance or was. I don't know. So they started talking to me, and um, they want to know stuff. And uh, all I said is, "Guys, try this. Guys, try it. I'm trying to speak, and I can And then, and um, they, well, you need to tell us, you know, what's wrong with you. And I'm like, I can't speak. It's like I'm totally drained. And she was kind of like, "Oh, well, you gave birth to the girls, and you're strong." It's like, okay, I'm strong, I'm strong. But I, I don't have the energy to speak. And then all of a sudden I just say, gosh, try this. I was getting angry at her because she was, you know, thinking that I was making something up. I have, like, I couldn't speak. I couldn't do anything. So I was like, okay, I have gastritis. Um, And then um, they were asking me other questions, but I was in and out, in and out. 
and um, we got to the hospital and they had my history so they knew well, you know it has nothing to do with MS I have gastritis also so they had to give me something for that but what I do and I had no hi baby hey, say hi fix your hair <laughs> no wait why you didn't come your hair look at her this is my hero she saved me yesterday and I know I scare her too Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you dare you? Yes, I did. You smacked me? I smacked you five times. You didn't feel it because I was like, Mom. Wow, but I feel that now. <laughs> I'm sorry. That scared you. But I told you to call 911. I did. I called them twice. Yeah, so this is my hero. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Don't get in the way. Come on. I'm talking to my friends. So this is my bunchkin. She saved me. She's, you know. This is my baby. So yeah, so I started in the hospital. They gave me everything, and then once they did the test, my blood work. Oh, babe, look at her. They did um, uh, my blood work. It came out that I was really low, very dangerous low of potassium. Potassium? Potassium? <sighs> okay. That never ever happened to me. Don't know why. So what they did, they gave me a treatment for that. Um, and that treatment for a small little tiny bag like this. Two hours long. Just for that. And it has to um, go in with the IV that bag. Because they can't give it to you by itself because it burns. It really burns. Like, it burns so bad. Like, I literally felt it when it went in my hand. And there's another problem, too. You see my veins here, but I didn't have that much vein when I went. And I, I drink a lot of water. Lots of water. And I still don't know why. Maybe because, you know why? I think because I was throwing up a lot. And, embarrassing to say, but I have IBS syndrome, too. So... Yeah, a lot of that too. So maybe that's why it was so dehydrated. But anyway, um, they tried to put the IV here. Nothing came out. They went in over here. They did it twice. I don't know if you can see. They pricked me twice. Twice. And then finally, they did it here again. So that was, the, they had, I had one here, and then I had another one here. I don't know why they did No, I had, I don't know if you could see. There's two little pricks there. Plus another one here. So, and another one here. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, yeah. So, but um, I didn't feel the pain. Usually, I know for a fact when I'm okay. If they try to do it here, I say no, right here, because this hurts. This really hurts. I didn't feel nothing. I was my pain. They asked me how strong was your pain, and they said from one to ten, and I said twenty. And, um, yeah, so, now, I called my doctor, and I explained to him what's happening, but they haven't called me, so I have to call them again tomorrow. Comb your hair right now. So, anyway, um, let me go like this. There you go. Better. Better. And you, oh, you know what? Look at Look at this. Much better, right? It's all dry now. And uh, I actually forgot to put my um, 
but I do it later on. I do it tonight. But I put that in. I put this in the morning, and at nighttime. Of course, I did it in the morning yesterday. Of course, I didn't do it at nighttime because I was in the hospital, and I didn't do it this morning either. So it's gonna be tonight. Um. And uh, yeah. So the nurse came in on this. What does it say? It's backwards. Twenty. <laughs> she came on the twentieth, which is Tuesday. I think. Yeah. Um. August. Oh, yes. She changed it, cleaned it up, and everything. And that's that. But this part, it's healing. Thank God, it's getting better. Now I, um. Now I have to get my stomach to get feel better because I right now I feel like I'm nine months pregnant. My stomach is just like I felt it like stretching, expanding. It was hurting so bad, and today it hasn't gone down. So that's why I have a dress on. Get my fat sticking out more. <laughs> I get comfortable because um, it's just pain. It's like spasm. So. Anyway. I don't have much to say. But I just want to. Um, you know. Stay positive. Moving forward. And. Um, talk to you soon. And once again. Subscribe to my channel. And like. Share. And I want to be able to. Hit the 1,000 so I could go live and talk to everybody. And we'll be better like that, I guess. I, I just want to be one-on-one, um, you know, talking to people, letting them know what's going on, how I feel. Mind you, I'm not a doctor. I just tell you my experiences, what I'm going through, because having MS is totally different for everybody. It's just like a, a snowflakes. They call it the snowflakes effect because each snowflake is a different shape. Some people have it really severe. Some people are just mild. Mine is just in the middle. Um, I had like two blocks back to back and almost a third one. And that's why they decided to do, well, I chose to do the plasma phoresis. And I see, I'm seeing some results. I'm not saying it's a hundred percent. But I have seen some results. Like I could walk more. Um, before I was, I couldn't walk a lot. I, I tumble, so I had to use the cane so I don't fall. Um, only because I feel totally drained now because I'm sick. But I feel better. If it wasn't for this, I would feel great right now. So once again. Stay strong, stay positive, keep on moving forward no matter what happens, and we go on. <laughs>